Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix crashing issue on Maiden NFL24 crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and structuring, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and many more issues. So the game is not launched officially, it is launching within hours, I think around 10 to 5 hours. So I am having the EA Pass, the subscription is there for me. So that is why I am able to play the game for 10 hours. So uh, that is why I'm making this video and many of the users even right now, they ended up in having crashing and all these kind of issue. And we're going to talk about how we can fix all these kind of issue. The first one is all about we need to do a simple restart on your system. So to do this, just go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, click over here and go for the restart. So once restart is successfully done, just try launching the game. So if restart is not working, even after trying with the restart, if the issue is still persisting, then we can try with the next one. Next one is nothing but what we can do is we just need to try with the next one. That is all about we need to try with verify integrity of game file. So verify integrity of game file is actually an important step. It cross check every single files of a game. So let me show you how you can do this. Just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now go to the installed file and there is an option called verify integrity of game file. So game is around 15.89 GB. So just click on this one and it is going to take a lot of time because this has to cross check every single file. So you have to wait until this reach 100 percentage and once it reach 100 percentage, you have to launch the game. So verify integrity of game file is actually a fix for many of these kind of issue. It will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, you will be having the issues just crashing and all these kind of issue. So it is quite important for our side. We have to make sure that it is not having any of these kind of issue. And once you cross check this, let this get completed in between or else we need to wait for a long period of time. So once this get completed, so we can try, just try launch the game. In the meantime, I will be moving to the next step. So once after verify integrity of game file is done, the next step is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we might be launching the game from Steam. That is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. So we should know how to launch the game from the installation folder. We have two methods. One, there is a shortcut from the Steam. Another one we can navigate to installation folder using the file explorer so i'll be showing you both the first one just go over here right click over here and go to the properties go to the installed file and just click on the browse when you click on the browse over here you can see you'll be getting this particular folder that you can see that is this pc new volume d steam library steam apps common made in nfl24 this is the installation path so right now, if you go over here, you can see this is the application Maiden24, which is around this particular KB. This is the application. So just launch the game from here. Instead of launching the game from the installation folder, we have to launch the game from here. That will be working fine for you guys as well. Next one is all about nothing but we need to run the game as an administrator. So I'm going to show you two more steps because hence we're in the installation folder. It is easy for me to show the steps. Next step is we need to run the game as an administrator. So we are in the installation folder. Just go to the application, right click over here and go to the show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. Just click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for okay. So once you go for this, most probably render the game as an administrator, it worked. Not only for this game, for previous games like Remnant 2, uh, Clank and uh, Ratchet Rift Apart and even it worked for one of my favorite game back for blood so you can try these things so it worked so run the game as an administrator is a fix for many of these kind of issue after trying with this if the issue is still there you can try with the next one that is nothing but we need to run the game in the compatibility mode for this we just need to go over here in the game right click over here and go to show more options go to properties compatibility just click on run this program in compatibility mode we have two options we have windows 7 and windows 8 if you're on Windows 7, we have to go for Windows 7 and go for Apply and go for OK. If you're on Windows 8, we have to go for Apply and we have to go for OK as well. So once you send this up, once it, is, it, it has been run in the compatibility mode, just close this and see whether the issue is solved or not. See the issues there, we can try with the next one. Next one is all about, we need to make sure the time, time zone and region should be correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We need to go for Settings. Now from here, we just need to go to time and language. Now first go to date and time. 
make sure the time and time zone automatically should be turned on if this this is turned off we have to turn this on and we have to turn this on as well now just go back and also parallelly make sure over here in the region you have to select the geography in which you are actually situating for example if you are from united states select united states if you are from united kingdom select united kingdom if you are from united arab emirates select the respective geography so you have to select accordingly your geography and that did work it for many users i don't know how but it worked so you can try these steps let's not take any possibility so let's take all the possibility to fix this up so once after that just go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so we'll be having the play button so here the verify integrity of game file is progressing so that is why it is actually grayed out but those who are watching this will be having the play button once verify integrity of game file is done so what you need to do is before you are clicking on the play button you have to press simultaneously alt and tab together from the keyboard and you have to hit on the play button this did work it like a miracle for many users i don't know how but it worked it so i found this from the reddit and also few users mentioned in the uh, community forum as well so uh, for me if you personally ask me the question it worked for the games like remnant 2 and it worked for uh, ratchet and clank rift apart and it worked for gta 5 and for many games so you can try this out so just click on the play button at the moment you are clicking on the play button simultaneously at the same time we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard and that's going to work that's what you have to do once you're done with one we just need to move to the next one next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer go to this particular folder over here and go to the documents over here you will be able to find the folder on the game that is maiden 24 so if you find the folder like this if you find 22 you will be having the folder just delete the respective folder keep in mind once you delete it you will be losing all the progressions on the game but that is fine just delete the game once afterwards you have to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game once again next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to window security for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel over here and we need to navigate to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to find the game so for many users they end up in saying they are not able to find the game so we can we will be able to find the game so just keep scrolling down and navigate to m because since it is an alphabet so we have to go over here so now from here we will be able to find the maiden 24 will be here if we missed it we have to cross check once again so imagine the game is not here you do not have to worry we can add it by default just click on the change settings and go for allow another app go for browse once again go to this pc go to local disk d go to steam library go to steam apps go to common now from here select maiden nfl2 now from here select the respective application go for open and add it so right now it is added so maiden nfl24 is added i have to make sure the private and public should be cross check that it has to be marked so the private and public should be marked once it is marked we have to close this and we have to go back and right now as you can see the verify integrity of game file is successfully run we got the play button you can try launch the game once you add the game in the window security try launch the game as well parallelly most probably that's going to help you guys out as well next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so and we might be connected with many things for example the usb ports might be filled with a lot of things maybe controllers logitech wheels even many other peripherals so we have to remove everything and once you remove everything try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well so just launch the game and uh, remove everything and once the game is launched for example if you wanted to play the game with the controller just remove everything and once you remove everything just click on the play button over here and once after that just connect it back and try launch the game because it worked for many of the users so you can try the same as well that's going to work for you as well so you can try this out next one is all about what you need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search and we have to go for system configuration just search for this one go for the services and we have to go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay this can ask you for restart so those users who are watching this just go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart but here we are in the middle of shooting for those who are watching this just go for restart and once after the restart most probably the issue has to be fixed because it worked in my knowledge so you can try this out next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable all the steam overlay so just go over here go to the game right click over here and go to the properties now from here make sure enable the steam overlay should be turned off and you have to disable this and once afterwards just close this and launch the game 
that's going to work for you as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to try these commands in the launch option it worked in my knowledge for many of the users so we can try this out even for the baldus gate 3 it worked just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties go over here in the launch option so the first command is dx11 try with dx11 and try launching the game so if dx11 is not working try changing it to dx12 so either you can try with dx11 or you can try with the dx12 so that's going to work for you fine so this is this will be working like a charm and you can try this out it worked for many users for baldur's gate 3 even for overwatch 2 uh, Sengoku Dynasty, even it work up for uh, Remnant 2, Ratchet and uh, Clank Rift Apart and even for the mini of the game so you can try this out. So once you're done with this one, you just need to close this up and we have to go for the next step. If that's not working, we have to go for the next one. That is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay application which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. So we need to go over here in the start, right click over here and we have to go to the task manager. Now from here as you can see, we can see a lot of things running in the background. All these things are utilizing the RAM and the performance of your PC at the same time. So if you're trying to launch a game, for example like Maiden to end uh, 24 which is of 15 GB, they're going to use the, your performance simultaneously at the same time. These background crosses are using your performance as well which is causing for the crashing issue. So it is very important for our side we have to remove the unwanted things. From here, for example, Discord, Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, which all these comes in the category of overlay and overclocking applications. So just remove everything from here. Once you remove everything, we just need to close this up and we have to go back and we have to try launch the game. Even after trying with this, if it's still it's not going to work. We need to try with running the game on the dedicated graphics card. So we just have to go over here in the search. We have to go for the graphics settings. Now from here you have to cross it with the game is added. So right now I have ordered all the games. So same way we have to add it, just go for the browse. Now from here we have to go to this PC, go to new volume D because this is where the game is installed in my case. Those who are watching this, you might be installed on C by default. So if that's the case, you have to go to this. If you're on the D, just go to this, go to Steam Library, go to Steam Apps, go to Common over here and we have to find Made in NFL 24, so the respective application and add it. So right now it is added. So we just need to go over here, click on the options and from let Windows decide, we have to change this to high performance because uh, the game has to be run on NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 super configuration because that's definitely gonna work and you'll not be having crashing issue. So set this to high performance and go for save. Once you go for this, just close this and try launching the game and that's gonna work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory. we we'll just go over here in the search and we have to go to view advanced system settings. Go to the advanced and go for settings once again. Go to the advanced once again. Go for change. Make sure this has to be unchecked and that's only you'll be able to select the local disk. So uncheck this and once after that select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is D. So I have to select this one, go for the custom size, set the value for initial size and set the value for maximum size. So initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So we need a calculation. Just go over here in the search and we need a calculator. So let me type this. So the RAM of my computer is 32 GB. Just type your RAM and multiply with the constant value that is 1024 and multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49152. Just copy this and we have to paste it. And next one is all about we need to try the same that you have to multiply 32 GB, multiply it with 1024 and multiply it with 3. That is 98304. So just copy this and we have to paste it as well. Once you set this up, we just need to close this and once everything is done, we can just need to close this as well and just go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about we need to update graphics card. It worked for many of the users so we can try the same. So just go over here in the description so I'll be providing the GeForce NVIDIA for the users I'll be providing, the NVIDIA also I'll be providing for the AMD users. So just go to this particular link and select every details like your product, product type, product series, operating systems, languages, etc. So I'm on Windows 11 and you have to select the respective configuration over here. But you have to select every single details from here. And once you select this one, you have to select the Windows 11 if you're on Windows 11 and go for start search. What happens is we'll be getting the latest released outdated versions of graphics card. So over here, as you can see, the latest released version is 536.0. 
9 am which is released on august 8 2023 so just download this install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game so if you're on the amd just go over here in the select graphics select everything over here and once after that just go for the submit and once you go for the submit you'll be getting this option if you're on windows 11 just download this one if you're on windows 10 you have to download this one try launch the game restart is a mandatory afterwards try launch the game even after trying with this it's still it's not working we have to go to the next one that is all about we have to update or install microsoft visual c plus plus so just go to this particular link and we have to download this one if you're on x x64 based one so if you're on x86 you can download this one it depends completely on your pc configuration and most of these kind of nowadays the pcs are rolling out on x64 so you can download this one once you download this, install a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Even after trying with all these things, still it's not working. You can try with two more steps which can be fixing the issue up. That is all about we have to update the windows. So just go over here in the search, go for settings over here. We have to go to the windows update. Make sure the windows is up to date and if you're having any kind of updates like cumulative updates or they just update the windows or else you're having any other update just update it. Make sure the windows is up to date and once after that you have to go back and close this app. Even after trying all these steps and still the issues there and you're not able to fix this up, the only one solution which can be done is all about we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back. I knew this is, sounds crazy, but for me it worked, especially for my favorite game Back for Blood. So over here, as you can see, I'm having the game Back for Blood. I used to play this a lot. So this particular game was not installing at the first time when I'm trying to install it back, it's not getting launched up. So I uninstalled it and installed from C to D and it worked. So do the same, just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back. You have to installing it back. If you uninstall the game frame C, try installing it back on D. If you are install, uninstalling the game frame D, try installing it back on C. And this is what you have to do. And also these are the possible workaround which can be done when it comes to how to fix Maiden NFL 24 crashing issue. And I hope this video is helpful. And I hope this video is helpful. And also I'll be providing link in the description to, uh, to the website of us get try tips where you can refer many more crashing guide. And if you find this, just watch this as well. So this is what it comes to this and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.